We're putting the mini red AC together. So we've got the cord uh, just for electricity coming in. We're using a uh, converter or an inverter from uh, 110 plug -in. It's like a laptop charger, but this is 12 volts. Some uh, use 18 volts. I, this one is 10 amps, so I can run two of these air conditioners with two pumps and two fans off of this. I uh, bought that one on purpose. So anyway, plug it in converts from 120 down to 12 volts then I've got an on a barrel plug comes off the uh, inverter and uh, let's call it a converter so it's a converter and then to an on off switch with a barrel plug and then I have an extension cord here is like six to ten feet long and then another barrel plug and then a four-way splitter. I've got some two ways, but this way you can run two air conditioners, two fans, and two pumps. And then this is the pump here, and the pump actually has a dial, not a dial, but a slide, to where you can speed up the water or slow down the water. So that way you can trickle the water to conserve your uh, ice, which, because the water, when it comes back into the cooler really fast, it pulverizes the ice this way you can trickle it down and then it uh, comes so the 12 volts comes to this barrel plug and for now I've got these uh, jump clips here alligator clips and uh, we'll be putting the connectors here onto the bare wires here on the fan into this barrel plug connector here so anyway I got the safety screen on both sides on the inside and the out uh, the heater core will be using these little PVC 90s uh, and I actually cut the uh, heater core cut the tubing off put these uh, well plug nuts inside that are rubber and then these C clips to hold it in and I've also made a, a metal plate that holds that on so it won't come off so you have input or output or output and input either way for the cold water so the water will circulate through here at 33 degrees which you can't get any colder than that without freezing. And then the uh, bilge fan sucks through the heater core. This was just uh, from, uh, I think I got it at Big Lots. You can get them on Amazon. I cut it down to make it shorter. They don't have to be this small, but I did because this one's going overseas in this container here and I have a red bag so it'll be carried around portably but you don't have to trim everything like I did so I also trimmed an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch off the end of the fan to put these on the safety screens on there so anyway electricity comes out to the converter 120 down to 12 volts and the on off switch now but when you put the switch in here I noticed it reduces the output the final output by I think a half to one amp so if you're run, so I can tell when the I use the switch. If I use the switch, I can tell the fan is a little slower than if I bypass the switch. You don't need that, but if you plug it in, the fan will come straight on. So anyway, it's ready to go. It's all hooked up, and you just flip the switch, and there you go. There's the air. So we'll, uh, about four feet away no let's say three and a half feet and we get so this the air is wider when you're about 20 about 36 inches away three feet away it's uh really strong then you get back the pattern spreads out so about right here is perfect So anyway, so that's what we did today, uh, trying to get this assembled to send it overseas uh, to the Philippines. And uh, I can take the inside screen out, the safety screen. I just don't want anybody putting their fingers in there. And if somebody's putting it together, assembling it when they're carrying it around, I, so it does slow the air down a little, but it's 
when you're dealing with 33 degree water going through there, it's cold. It's actually a lot quieter this way, and uh, so I think this will be perfect. Amen. So anyway, I'll uh, try to get this one ready to go, and uh, when I get it with the eye, I've, I've tested them before. I used this type for eight years. I just made this one really small. Uh, so when I get the ice water in and everything, we'll, uh, run, we'll uh, run it for you on camera. So y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.